In this video we're going to be having a look at modelling using trigonometric functions. So before we have a look at this question, we're just going to define on this graph some new terminology. So I've got a graph here of something that looks like the sine wave. So what I'm going to do is label the amplitude of the graph. Now what the amplitude is, the distance between the middle here, the middle of the wave, and the peak, this is called the amplitude. Now this middle value here, the central value of the graph, is actually called the central value. And that's this line here, the value that the wave is centred around. Here, from one peak of the graph to another, is called the period, or in physics, it can be called the wavelength as well. So there are three new terms to do with sine and cos graphs. So now I'm going to look at the question. It said for the function f of x equals 5 plus 6 cos 3 theta, where theta is measured in radians, find the period. Well, the period normally in radians for any trig graph uh, sine or cos is 2 pi. It's normally 2 pi. However, notice in this function, it's been stretched on the inside by a scale factor of 1 third. With times by 3 on the inside of the bracket, that's a stretch by scale factor 1 third. Stretch by scale factor 1 third parallel to x axis. So having done that, the period must also be stretched by a scale factor of a third. Therefore, rather than being 2 pi, it's 2 pi over 3 now. Part 2, the central value. Well, normally, the central value is at 0 for an ordinary sine or cos graph. But we can see here that the graph's been translated 5 in the y direction. We've translated it. 0, 5, by adding that 5 outside of the cos function. So now, the central value has been lifted 5, so the central value is when y equals 5. Then part 3, the amplitude. Well, the amplitude is the distance between the central value and the top. Normally, that value is 1. Normally, in an ordinary cos and sine graph, the value of the amplitude is 1. However, we can see here we've stretched it by scale factor 6. So now the distance between the middle and the top is going to be multiplied by a scale factor of 6 also. Therefore, the amplitude is going to be 6. For more resources like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.